All right, so um, this is lesson eight of the design your own video game console course from GameInstitute.com. This lesson involves putting the XGS Pico system, which the schematic is this picture, um, onto a breadboard like so. Um, has a bunch of parts sub or subsection this is the power section obviously this is this reset circuit um so this is the this is the power led this is the sx28 itself this little header bunch of header pins is where the xx key would go if you're programming programming it this is the clock right here it's 80 megahertz i can't really zoom in with this this is the four LED output port um, just for like uh, I guess testing and since it's all running on pro the processor like you're controlling the graphics and the sound um, you can use this for like I don't know like live life numbers or something like that um, this is the R2R ladder which is a substitute for a digital to audio can digital to analog converter this is for the video this is the little potentiometer for controlling the brightness and uh, this is the same r to ladder I had to add some more resistors because I didn't have all of the same value but this is for the audio and this is the volume control and then these go out to the TV they're connected to little RCA cables and um, I had tried testing some demos that were on the CD but I think some of the timing is off or I don't know I don't think I connected anything wrong, well, as proven by this last example. Um, oh, I also forgot to mention this is the, there's a joystick port, which is just a DB9 connector. Connects to an Atari-style joystick, which is basically just a bunch of switches, like up, down, left, right, and fire. Um, and they're connected to ground. And, um... What else? Uh, um, I tried a bunch of demos on the CD, but um, not all of them had too much functionality. So um, I found one that's a breakout demo. Uh, I'll reset it. You can see you can control the. I'll zoom in. You can control the little guy. I'll turn the brightness. So then the ball just regenerates. So since you have to control all the timing for the video uh, and control if the color output, it's kind of hard to um, produce color and sound and um, the game logic and have it all work out in time. So it seems like most of the, at least for the Pico edition. Don't have all um, all the cool features, but this is pretty cool for a little video game system on a PCB that I built in like a, a half hour, you know. So, bye.